Good afternoon, Fredericton, and welcome to Benchmit.tv. Uh, this is another installment of Building Entel Potter. We're here showing you exactly how to build a house. Um, we're inside the garage. I'm going to take you inside. We've just completed 95% um, of the insulation is done, as well as we've drywalled throughout the home. So you can see here uh, we're in the garage, and this is the pink insulation. Um, the garage needs to be drywalled. You'll also notice we have all of our electrical wiring that's coming out here into the uh, into the garage. So this is where the panel will be, which is a much more convenient place than having it inside the home. Um, can be a little unsightly having your electrical panel in the in the house. So come in. This is uh, the entrance through the garage. There's a, a bath here, a closet, and you'll enter into the kitchen here. Staircase leading upstairs. Some very large windows, very spacious, very open. So, living room and dining room here. That's the front door, and that is the staircase leading to the basement. I'll quickly take you upstairs to see, show you what it looks like here. First thing you'll see at the top of the stairs that's the bathroom. Very large bathroom, interior linen closet hall linen closet, very very large double closet for the hallway as well. Just off the master here is the laundry room. So very convenient because all bedrooms are on the top floor uh, so you don't have to carry up and down the stairs your laundry. So we have a bedroom here, we have a bedroom here, and we have a bedroom here. Now we'll quickly walk into the master. Very spacious landing area as well. It's hard to see because we've got the gyp rock still here, but very spacious landing area. So in the master now, large master bedroom. And one of the nicest features about the home, there's uh, the venting for the natural gas force air, is this walk-in closet and ensuite. So we have our hallway coming in. This is the walk-in closet. Very large, I'll show you the floor space to give you an idea. And then you continue down the hallway and this is going to be the master ensuite. So this is going to be the corner tub. This is the uh, stand up shower. Your sink and flush there. So we're downstairs here in the basement. Still very much in the construction process. One of the things that I want to show you is what we've decided in this home to do is uh, spray foam the rim joists. Um, Right here you can see where all the spray is. Uh, what The reason we've done the spray foam here is just it's a very tedious job to try to uh, cut all the pieces of uh, pink insulation as well as poly uh, wrap that with the glue. So very tedious job. Contractors are now preferring to spray. Much easier job. This gentleman has done an excellent job with the, with the spraying. You can see here he's even done a skim coat over top of the plate because these are two by fours, or two by sixes, sorry, here, and uh, the gaps in between the boards will also create air loss. So he's done an excellent job, and it continues all the way around. So if you have any questions about new construction, or maybe you got questions about spray foam insulation, uh, don't hesitate to give me an email, ben.schmidt at me.com. And thank you very much, Fredericton. We'll be talking to you real soon.